What we're going to do now is to calculate what is the consumption spending by households given that this is the equilibrium level of income. So we want to determine big C, that is the consumption spending by households. Now, what we first do is to look at what is our consumption functions, which describes the behavior of households. And we have an autonomous part, which means independent from the level of output and income. And we have an induced part which consists of the marginal propensity to consume, small c, income minus taxes, which gives us the disposable income. So that's the induced part. I'm going to now draw the, this, the consumption function here, and we know it looks like that, which is part of the demand for goods. Now, what we want to do is to say, okay, if that's the level of income, 5,900, we want to know what is consumption spending on this level here? And we begin then to look at our autonomous consumption, which, as we can see, is 400. And that is your vertical intercept here. Then we say, plus margin propensity to consume, 0.8. And we have our income level of 5,900 minus taxes of 400, that gives us 400 plus 0 0.8, 5,500. And that will be equal to, if you calculate this, will be equal to 4,800. So in other words, at this level here, our consumption spending is 4,800. So at the income level of 5,900, consumption spending is 4,800.